my parents go under the grave, do I still have to show obedience to them? Yes, but they're dead. No, your parents never die. You have to keep their memory alive. Yes, oh Allah, forgive me, my parents also means that when my parents are under the ground, there are certain acts I can perform that can still be obedience to them. Someone says, what do you mean? Number one, recite dua by the qabr of your parents, correct? Go every Thursday, go every Sunday, sit there, a dua, Ya Allah forgive them, the thawab goes to them. Recite Quran by their qabr. Number two, recite a couple of surahs. Number three, 60 man says, that when someone's parents dies, if he is able to do a good a duty to them, the best duty is to visit their friends who are still alive and look after them. My parents may have died. Some of their friends may still be alive. My dad may have died at 90. His best friend may be 93. One of the best things I can do for my dad now that he's passed away, visit his friend, ask about his friend. How is his friend doing? Because when my dad was alive, that man was close to him. I can still look after him. Number four, do a hajj on behalf of your parents. Yes? If your parents went to hajj, do a mustahab hajj on their behalf. If your parents haven't gone to hajj, sometimes people ask, I saw my dad or my mom in a dream. And they were looking unwell or they were looking in pain. What is the interpretation? The interpretation is they have a loan which is outstanding. Either a loan to Allah or a loan to his creation. Someone says, what do you mean loan to Allah? Loan to Allah, maybe they didn't go to Hajj. They're in pain in Barzakh. Go and do a Hajj on their behalf. Maybe there are Salahs your parents missed. You know, if someone's parents have missed their Salah, you write in your will. And we should all write our wills now. You never know when your last moment is. Write in your will, my son, I missed Salah from the age of 16 till the age of 31. I have missed 15 years of Salah. If you can pray it, pray it. If you can't pray it, pay someone to pray it. <coughs> you are allowed that when your father's died, you are allowed to pay someone to pray Salah. It is called Salat al-Istijara. You pay the person, a Mawlana for example in Qum, or a Mawlana in Najaf, you pay them an amount, you say, listen, my dad missed many salahs. In his will, he wrote that I didn't do all my salahs. You pay them. Ayatullah Mar'ashi Najafi. Ayatullah Najafi Mar'ashi, who has the famous library in Qum. The big library in Qum. Do you know how he used to buy the books? He used to pray Salat al-Istijara for people who have missed their prayers. The money he would get for Salat al-Istijara, he goes to buy books and put it in the library. Therefore, your father, if he's missed Hajj, your mom, if they missed Hajj, do the Hajj on their behalf. Or do Umrah on their behalf. When you go Umrah, do a Mustahab Tawaf on their behalf. What else can you do? If they have an outstanding debt, pay the debt. What else can you do? Have a Majlis in the name of Imam Al Hussein in their honor once a year. Once a year. I ask all of you who've lost your father or your mother, do you do a Majlis in the name of your father once a year? Or no? There are many who don't, you know that? And they don't know how much tawab they would get for their father if they were doing a majlis for him once a year. Once, pick a majlis, just once. Say, annually this majlis is for my father in the name of Imam al-Sadiq. In the name of Imam al-Kadhim. You know Imam al-Baqir in his wasiyah what he wrote? In his wasiyah he wrote, Make sure there's a majlis for Aba Abdullah at Mina every year in Hajj. <coughs> Imam al Baqir with his greatness writes, Make sure there's a majlis for my grandfather Aba Abdullah. Likewise with yourself, if your mother loved Bibi Zainab, do a majlis for her. Invite Mawlana. Say, Mawlana, my mother, this is her anniversary. I beg you, can you come? Can you recite on her anniversary? The thawab all goes to your mother. If your mother loved Bibi Fatima, do I mention somebody else Bibi Fatima? The point is what? The point is when your parents are under the grave, 
try and make sure their bank account continues to increase. Yes? We are concerned about the account of dunya. Why don't you look after their overdraft limit in akhirah, correct? Put them in credit in akhirah. Because you don't know when your parents are about to pass. And you want to give everything you can back to your parents, no doubt. Why? Because you recognize your parents gave everything towards you. And that's why a mother, no doubt, our fathers love us. But the heart of the mother is a soft heart, yes? Those of us who disobeyed our mothers, it hurts when we remember how rude we were. The Quran says, don't even say off into your mom, yes? Even that small word, off, don't say to your mom. Those of you here who've lost your mom, don't you miss the smile of your mother when she used to sit next to you? Those of you who've lost your mom, don't you miss the advice of your mother? Those of you who have your mom alive, have you ever pondered how that lady does everything for you? Everything. She works tirelessly so you smile. She cries for you in the night when you don't see her. Do you know how many of our moms cry for us and we don't know? When they hear about our bad deeds, they cry. When they see us successful, they cry. And Imam Zain al abidin would say, make my obedience to my parents like water for the thirsty, greater than water for the thirsty, and greater than sleep for the drowsy. How much when you're drowsy you want to sleep? Make my obedience to my parents greater. How much when you're thirsty you want water, correct? Make my obedience to my parents greater than water for the thirsty. And you look at those mothers who lost their children. You know when Fatima is Zahra, you know when they smash the door on Bibi Fatima, yes? <laughs> when they smash the door on Bibi Fatima, the rib, the nail had gone through. <laughs> the nail had gone through the rib of Fatima. And she lived those last days with a broken rib, yes? <laughs> you know what she says to Amir al-Mu'mineen? And one of the poets mentions this beautifully. You know what she says? I know you will look after all my children when I die. But especially take care of Hussein. He loves me. He used to sleep on my chest up until recently. Why up until recently? When your rib is broken, you can't have the child lean on you, can you? There was that softness. And that's why you find when her janazah was carried, when Imam al Hussein came running to her body, he came lying on the body of his mom. And he called out, Mom, Mother Fatima, talk to me, it's Hussein. At that moment, Abu Dhar narrates, he says, Ali ibn Abi Talib at that moment said, remove Hussein from the chest of his mom. <clears throat> You've all seen, those of you who've seen your mom die, how difficult that moment is. You just want to fall on her chest. <clears throat> remove